Today I'd like to start with the first lesson in our series here and th this lesson basically introduces us to statistics and uh, most of us might be familiar with statistics or maybe know just a little bit about the subject itself but in general what is statistics? Although we've heard and maybe know something about it there's actually some good definitions of statistics and really to boil it down to possibly just a really very easy one sentence definition statistics in general is the science of learning from data we use data to study the past and, and possibly use it uh, to predict future experiences however you have to take care in the use of data because bad data can lead to results that are just not reliable at all so once again statistics is the science of learning from data and that's a very powerful thing because data will allow us to be able to predict things that happen in the future. Statistics is also concerned with the collection, the analysis, and the interpretation of data, as well as the effective communication and, pre and presentation of results relying on data. And we're going to break this course down into each one of these uh, phases within this definition here and uh, probably one of the hardest things to do is is collecting data that's good and representative of uh, what we want to study. Uh, once we make a good collection of data we want to analyze the data and after the analysis we're going to interpret this and possibly use it to uh, make decisions and um, statistics is used in, in several fields and most of us as we pursue our studies in college or we pursue our future studies are going to have to uh, use statistics or take some type of statistics course and and possibly use it uh, in the real world itself statistics is a branch of mathematics that allows us to make quantitative reasoning necessary for important advances in the sciences such as medicine and genetics and for making important decisions in business and public policy. Statistics covers quite a cross-section of, uh, of different uh, avenues of, of work and um, studies and um, once again it's a great course for, for any of us to, to really take because uh, it, it's very useful you know it allows us to, to, to really help in, in, in many areas of study and in, in the advances of the studies themselves as well. Okay, let's break it down very simply. Statistics basically is the science of collecting data, analyzing data, and drawing conclusions from the data itself. And once again, as I said earlier, we're going to break statistics down in all three of these phases here and talk about the importance of each one of these concepts here. Collecting data, like I said earlier, probably one of the hardest things that we have to do. Assemble the data, grab the data, make sure it's representative of the population. Analyzing data is where we begin to look at possibly some what we call descriptive statistics and some charts and graphs and possibly even looking at uh, certain measurements that are formula driven. And, and uh, once we've analyzed the data, we want to try to draw some conclusions from the data. Does the data tell us something? Are we able to really get a good picture? of uh, perhaps the whole, the population, you know, after we look at uh, samples of data. So once again, statistics is the science of collecting data, analyzing data, and drawing conclusions from the data itself. Now, statistics as a subject is broken into two main branches. The first branch is called descriptive statistics. We're going to spend most of the first semester on talking about descriptive statistics and the second branch that we're going to look at is inferential statistics and in the second semester we're going to be spending most of our time in, in, in a little bit at the end of the first semester but in the second semester we're going to take a look at inferential statistics. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the definition of both of these branches. Now descriptive statistics are used basically describe features of the data in a study. With descriptive statistics, you're simply describing what is or what the data shows. Descriptive statistics provide simple summaries about the sample and the measures. They include methods of organizing data, summarizing data, graphically displaying data, and using numerical formulas to describe the nature of the data. All four of these are an important part of descriptive statistics and as we use each one of these methods here they'll become an important part of the, the general umbrella of 
of descriptive statistics. Now, inferential statistics, on the other hand, is defined as the branch of statistics that is used to make inferences about the characteristics of populations based on sample data.